the Miami Circle, Florida. The worst place to find an ancient mystery is on valuable real estate. That made it a battle to safeguard history from a developer's bulldozer. More historical places have been lost to construction in Florida than any other reason, which is why local historians say that when money talks, history walks. While removing an old structure in downtown Miami in 1998, a 38-foot diameter circular pattern of holes dug into limestone bedrock was discovered. It was one of the most significant finds in Florida archaeology. There was a major stumbling block. It was located on a $10 million plot of land that could be worth 20 times that much if converted to make way for a new high-rise condominium. Located in the center of the city, south of Miami River, the strange circle was estimated to have been built about 1,000 to 2,000 years ago by the Tequesta Indians, who had died out centuries before the Seminoles migrated into this area of the Florida Peninsula. Archaeologists from Miami-Dade County Historic Preservation Division examined the strange circle and determined the holes were used to support posts for a large, round council house. The Brickle Point geological features were listed as part of Miami Circle. The circle has been linked with Atlantis, as well as being a Bermuda Triangle corner marker. According to one theory, the pre-Columbian circle was part of a worldwide system of ancient circles that was linked to Stonehenge in some way. Others speculated it was a revered Mayan astronomical observatory used to track time. New Age historians, Indian shaman spiritualists, and stool children all wanted a glimpse of the ancient discovery or to feel its mystical properties. It was built on land originally owned by William Brickell, a pioneer who operated a trading post in his the early 1800s. Brickell, instrumental in the founding of the city of Miami, had his remains reinterred in Woodland Park Cemetery by his family in 1946. The work of unearthing the old circle was not easy. Previously, the land included six two-story apartment buildings and a swimming pool, and the ground was littered with rusted plumbing pipes, steel reinforcement, concrete, and other garbage. After a lot of hard work, the modern relics were removed revealing at least 200 more post holes in the limestone, in addition to the ones that formed the strange circle. A large animal carving cut into the stone was also revealed. A sea turtle, shark bone and teeth from an extinct monk seal, and the human, are all carved among the 24 rectangular basins. The most intriguing pieces were copper and galena bits, as well as two small axe heads constructed from materials not native to Florida. This suggests that the early people had a broad trading network 2,000 years ago. Archaeologists believe the site was used for ritual or ceremonial purposes based on the exotic subjects unearthed at the circle. The discovery of shark and turtle carcasses in what appeared to be a deliberate configuration, presumably for ceremonial purposes, strengthens this notion. In support of the hypothesis that the circle was constructed as a massive astronomical calendar or ancient almanac, surveyors found that the autumnal equinox, as well as the summer and winter solstices, may be predicted by solitary holes found 41 feet either side of the circular center. The idea that the circle was a Mayan project isn't so far-fetched when you consider how close the Yucatan Peninsula is to the tip of Florida and the Mayans did build seagoing canoes. It would have been easy for Mayan mariners to ride the Gulf Stream over to Florida, though returning home might have been a problem. The Miami Circle was a fantastic archaeological find that merited more investigation, but it was impeding a multi-million dollar construction. The media hyped the activities, which drew so large a crowd that the area had to be walled off. A camera was put in the roof of a nearby high-rise, transmit pictures to the internet for people who couldn't make it to Miami, and there were 200 websites posting news on the Miami Circle. The 2,000-year-old circle had transformed into a kind of shrine attracting attention from all over the world. Maybe there was something magical about this circle after all. If you have friends interested in historical mysteries, please share this video with them. It really helps us out a lot. Save the Circle group staged candlelight vigils 
and demonstrators marched with signs urging the property be saved from development. Thousands of emails were received pleading for action from state and local officials to save the circle. Experts even looked into the possibility of creating a massive plaster cast of the site or slicing it into portions and transporting it to a safer location. Legislation sponsored in October 2003 would allow a feasibility assessment to be conducted on adding the prehistoric site into the Biscayne National Park. The 2.2-acre site was eventually seized by Miami-Dade County through the law of eminent domain and was later purchased for $26.7 million with a combination of funds from the State Conservation and Recreational Lands Program. The ancient people who once occupied the site could never have imagined the commotion the strange circle could cause 2,000 years later in downtown Miami, or that images of their work would flash around the world on the Internet. Thanks to local contributions and a loan from the Trust for Public Land to preserve the site until more study can be done, the circle has been covered with gravel. Perhaps the strangest aspect of the Miami Circle case is how the ancient past has clashed with the present. Perhaps the ancients have set us a message in the circle. Now all we have to do is find out what it is.